Welcome back. Happy New Year, man. Hope y'all had a great Christmas. Hope y'all having a good a good year so far. A new year. New opportunities, man. Let's get to it. Today we got creepy TikTok. So um yeah, let's get into the video. Let's go. Keep the lights. Already? Four seconds in? I gotta make sure nobody out in the hallway. <laughs> Whoa, let's run that back a little bit. There is only one rule. What? Keep the lights on. No way. What would y'all do if y'all saw that in y'all hallway when y'all had to get up and use a bathroom in the middle of the night? Like, what would y'all do? I don't know what I would do. Y'all let me know what would y'all do in the comments, man. Jeepers, creepers. In the cornfield. Where'd you get those peepers? Jeepers, creepers. Where'd you get those eyes? They're like that puppet from um Goosebumps. The book. Uh, that's creepy, man. That, that gave me that gave me the chills looking at stuff like that. Jump. That's weird. Mom. Both of the doors open. Somebody did me like that. Man, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Man. That's tough. That's tough. Mom! Yeah, that's tough. Mom! It's one of those pictures. One of the pictures where you don't see it at first, right? This photo comes out of Wisconsin State University. It's from 2012, okay. and it was taken by Aaron Silva. What looks like just an abandoned hallway, if you okay. look very close to the back left, you'll see it. The outline Man. of a person who had been watching him from around the corner. For context, this was a very common tradition at this school. A lot of people would dare each other to go inside the abandoned infirmary that was... Wait, hold on, he said it. What did he say? ...off campus. You go inside using just a flashlight, and whoever stays in the longest eventually wins. But Aaron was never gonna make it out. What, um... Uh... Have y'all had any encounters in school, like any like weird things happening? Like you know how you have to go like like stay out to school for something and it'd be dark, dark outside and the, the school is like kind of dark too. Like it, school is weird walking through there at, at night. Like I don't know, it's just something about it. Like it's weird when you're in school and you gotta and you after school it's like a play or something and you gotta stay out to school and you gotta walk through the school at nighttime. And that's I don't know why, but it's just like. It's weird, like, it's really chilling, like, it's scary, like, walking through, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but that's weird, like, I don't know, like, I don't know, then when you, you, you don't want to look back, because then what if you see something behind you or something, like, it, it's just weird, man, walking through a school at night. After more than an hour had passed, his friends eventually became concerned, and they go in looking for him, where they found him, and described him as cut from the mouth down to the center of his chest. This was a hugely disturbing case for police, but they eventually do retrieve his phone, and they zero in on this picture, a picture which they believe shows who might have done this to Aaron. And if you increase the brightness, you can see the outline even better. That's crazy. Scaretober Day 11. This is Norman. Around 18 years ago, Norman was built to appear in a music video for the band Interpol, and for some reason, people seemed to adore him. However, Norman then disappeared for 10 years. Then, in 2014, an auction on iCollector.com titled Animatronic Creepy Ghoul Puppet from a Music Video was listed, and sure enough, it was Norman. Norman resurfaced after 10 years, and it was shocking to see what horrible, disturbing shape he was in. Despite having Having a strong fan following, no one bought him, and he disappeared once again for another what? five years. He was then found and acquired by a YouTuber, and well, the rest speaks for itself. Who's the YouTuber? What the? Man, that thing like Frankenstein. That thing look weird. So there's a level that's a theme park and it features carnival games. Who runs it? Entities. I don't like this. Clowns. Like rainbow wig, white painted face. If there's clowns, it's not happening. They're actually friendly. No. They'll actually help you exit the level. But you gotta stay away from roller coasters, music, but even children. Wait, what? If you look at the roller coasters closely, you'll see that there's skeleton remains. Well, that ride sucks. <laughs> Beware of the carnival music. It will lead you to a dangerous entity that looks like a killer clown with superhuman speed. What would happen if he catches? 
you. He tortures you in front of a live audience until your eyes man, turn come black on. and you feel- Come on, oh, man, come on. What, what kind of story is this? Like, you had me at first, but now I, it, it, I don't know. I don't know if it's believable, man. I don't know if I can believe it. After you become part of the live audience. What about the children? Don't do this TikTok trend. Me, why? So it started in Japan. Kids would write a phrase on their wrist, F74. When they fell asleep, they would dream of a parallel dimension. Wait, low key? No, 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 no. No, seriously. No, don't. I don't, don't. believe it. I want to try, okay? No, you actually don't. You don't. Because if you don't escape, you don't wake up. Well, how do you escape? So you're only given 10 hours to find the door with F74 on. 10 hours? I could do it in two, bro. I'm, I'm a speedrunner. Dream. <laughs> Man. No, cool. I have an update on the serial killer who is on the loose right now in California. If you this missed real? my previous videos, essentially there's a serial killer who is on the loose right now in Stockton, California. Currently what? has been confirmed to take the lives of six people, but it's believed that he's actually linked to a couple of other murders. Most recently though, the Stockton killer actually attempted to kill somebody, but they got away. Her name was Natasha Latour, oh, and she lived shoot. in a tent in Stockton, California. The 46-year-old says she was asleep in her tent when she was awoken to the sound of gravel crunching around. Wait, she was in a tent? Hold on. Was she, hold on. Wait, what? to kill somebody but they got away her name was natasha latour and she lived in a tent in stockton california the 46 year old says she was asleep in her tent when she was awoken to the sound of gravel crunching around her tent she then walked out of her tent where she was greeted by the stockton killer wearing all black and a black mask holding a gun pointing at her natasha Whoa. then had a fight or flight response where she sprinted towards the killer to try to rush him on her way towards the killer the killer would duck down and shoot her nine to ten times what? The train then began to pass by and natasha actually found a way to escape she was trudging along the street of Stockton where she eventually collapsed in the middle of the road. Thankfully though, a couple came by and were able to take her to a hospital. She then recovered from her wounds, but unfortunately, she didn't have much information about the killer or his face. Can't really blame her, obviously there's a lot of adrenaline in a moment like that. But I can't help but feel like we're getting closer to finding out who this killer is. And look, as I find more information, I'll make sure to let you guys know, but... Shot 9 to 10 times? Oh my gosh, and she survives that though, that's wild. All right, y'all. That's it for the compilation, man. Creepy TikToks, man. That was that was wild, scary. That was deranged. The serial killer, that was crazy. She got shot nine to ten times, still survived. I think that's what he said. Like, I think he said it in that way. Like, that was crazy. But yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Hope y'all had a great day, man. Till next time, peace.